This reader interview is sponsored by the patrons of the Rereading Wolf podcast. All right. Well, Diana Lambert, do you want to play our game? Sure. <laughs> yeah. I have to confess, I don't even know what podcast this is. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm speaking with Adam Ed, and so like I saw, I just put on my calendar, I have to talk to them. It's going to be about wolf. I think that's it. That's all I told myself. So I, I didn't even, I, now I'm embarrassed to say I didn't even look up what the podcast was. Oh, yeah. No, I get it. Okay. Yeah, you said that, but I never watched the Astro Studio. I, was like, what? <laughs> I know. No, I was like, <laughs> I don't know what this is, but I'll just do it. I'm game. <laughs> we got some fresh meat here. No, no, don't worry about that at all. This is ideal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're like Severian wandering around in this. So that's perfect. Okay, so. Let us begin. Let us play our game. First encounter with a wolf story. You mean a short story or a book? Yeah, either one. A novel, short story. If you bumped into him in the street, all that works. <laughs> My, I am very late to wolf and it's embarrassing uh, because I have an MFA. I'm a professional writer. I consider myself well-read and I like science fiction and fantasy. And I'm 58. You'd think that I would have heard about him. I didn't even hear about him. That's how bad it is. I didn't even know he existed. Um, I came upon him only because my adult son, uh, he's in med school right now. He's, he likes fantasy science fiction and sometimes we'll recommend books to each other. And he said, I read this really, I think, I think you'll like this book. I'm not sure, but I think you will. And then he told me about the book of the, um, book of the new son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, four, the four books he had never, he still has not read the other one. What happened was I read it, fell in love I was like, where has this man been all my life? <laughs> and I was instantly smitten. Uh, love at first sight. And uh, then I started plowing through everything. I don't know. What, that's that's the rest is history. But it's only I've only known Wolf I, I, not more than two years. Oh, terrific. How much how far have you gone so far? Um, let me see. I read all the you know, the all the sun long, mm -hmm. long, short and new. Uh, mm -hmm. the fifth head piece, um, the st a bunch of stories. I loved, um, the Island of Dr. Death and other stories and other stories. An amazing collection. What else? I, oh, the Latro. Oh, And then yeah. the couple ones like Land Across. I, I didn't care for Land Across because it was too murky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, and the Wizard Knight. And, and several other stories in other collections. And the one about the book, whatever that's called, Borrowed Man. Mm -hmm. like, I think mm -hmm. that's it. I'm not sure. Yeah. Very cool. And you know, you're not alone. And we were just talking about land across the other day and how it's kind of, it's my least favorite of everything. Cause I just have no clue what's going on at all. <laughs> and you, it's, it's not just that you have no clue what's going on. It's that you feel like you should have a clue of what's going on. Yeah. Like you get a sense that there's clues out here. I should be able to put them together, but they just end up, it always ends up being a dead end. <laughs> yep. That's yep. my perspective. Mm -hmm. Like, well, actually, I yep. mean, to be it's, honest, that was my first perspective on the book of the new sun. So I, I felt like there was something happening just beyond the curtain all the time. Uh, and that it was just, it gave me this very paranoid feeling. Right. It's that feeling, right. That you should know what you're talking. Like it's, it's like being in a, being in a class that is everyone else understands what's going on, but you don't. And you replace it. Yeah, like a dream where you go to the class and you haven't been there all year for the first time. And we're about to have a big test. Yeah. Like a bad thing, exactly. And I still, have, I'm a teacher, so I still, I, I have the teacher version of that dream. Still, I've actually, I, I even have the student version where I find out I have to go back to high school at my age. Yeah, so you can see it's a fear of mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that that can lead us to our next question: favorite novel or short story, either or both. Um, I have well, the Book of the New Sun for sure. Uh, and the whole all all five together, mm -hmm. um, but it's hard for me to that one and um, short sun and peace and Everest <laughs> at fifth head. I think are all top contenders. I can't. It's hard for me to. The only one I can say is not is the Wizard Knight. I don't. I don't. I'm one of the people who I don't. It's okay. I just don't care yeah. for it. Yeah. I read it twice to force myself. I read it a second time because I was like, I did not really like this book that much. 
maybe I'm missing something and I read it again. I had the same reaction. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm like you. I, my top five are moving around and, um, Book of New Sun was never on my top five, but now, now I think it's in contention with Short Sun. Ah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, favorite wolf word. Favorite wolf word. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I thought it had to be um, mm -hmm. Fulogen. Or what is it? Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Well, who knows? <laughs> yeah. I thought it had to be that one because it's so important. Okay. Uh, and I, I actually had never heard of it before. And it's so, it's. Mm -hmm. It's a great word, and it's a and it's, and it's great thematically. Yeah, and it sounds great. It's fun to say, and it sounds great. But I, I thought that that would be something most people would choose, but it is something I would choose. I don't know. So I was trying to do something else, and then I was like, "But it is what I would choose." So I, I'm sorry if I'm giving you a word that lots of people choose. No, you don't have to be original. <laughs> <laughs> you and Michael okay. Swanwick, and well, I, I don't think you're the only one either. Uh, personal non-consensus theory about a wolf story or your favorite one? Um, every, when I read book, when I first read book of the, I didn't know, as I mentioned to you, I didn't even know wolf existed and I read it and I was like, this is amazing. And I started looking on it in the internet and I saw the, lots of the old threads. So like the earth thread, mm -hmm. the old one from the nineties. Uh, right. I think, or the early 2000s. I can't remember the, no, maybe the 2000s. I can't remember the date. Um, right. And then the Reddit ones and then various other things. I read everything. Many, many people contributed to my understanding of Wolf, Mark Aramani, for sure. But a lot of other people, Aramani, sorry. Mm -hmm. So when I, so I don't really have a non-consensus theory because I'm kind of, kind of a patchwork that I've, I've kind of created from, <laughs> different people who say different things like you know what i mean like different like yeah mm -hmm. and I, it's kind of like a smorgasbord of of yeah. interpretations oh yeah yeah okay well what how about your favorite your favorite theory that's not explicitly stated i mean it's 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 not explicitly stated in the text but it's your understanding what would be what would you say about that um oh gosh um i wish i would uh, I was going to reread Peace, but I haven't had time uh, because that one, that one is, I had a bunch of theories and I wrote them down, but I can't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> the, 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 the sun one, the new sun um, one, um, I was pretty proud of my, I, I, I think I realized this. So maybe that was good because, you know, I start so late. So there's very little I can contribute, but because um, there's so many smart people sure, and sure and you know uh, who've contributed i really like if that in that book the i like the moment where she says where um Tal talos or talos says that when they see dorcas for the very first time they see dorcas and severa and walking toward them and they, and they say oh look mm -hmm. innocence and death and you're encouraged to think that dorcas is the innocence and severian is death because he's dressed like death and he's an executioner mm -hmm. but my realization was that Actually, Wolf was playing around with that. And in actual fact, she's death and he's innocence. That's excellent. I like that. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I, I think it's pretty clear. Um, I mean, she's dead. She died. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and he is innocent. That's that's one of the things I think he was trying to kind of play around the idea of he's very young and he's very sheltered. And he is. I mean, he's he's naive and innocent uh, yeah. and he allow and he can be manipulated very easily in the beginning, especially. Um, right. Yeah. And so he is innocent. So I think, yeah, that one. And then if you look at it kind of throughout, there's a lot of metaphors linking Dorcas, Dorcas with death, the flowers, um, the, there's a bunch of things. Um, mm -hmm. And so I kind of like that because it, it, I don't know, it twists things around, but they're a bunch like that, like little things that I thought that aren't that big, let's say. Yeah. The one, no, yeah. yeah. I was really proud of, this is going to sound really, really kind of small, but I read um, in the, in the um, Island of Dr. Death and other stories, the, the story about, um, now I'm blanking out of the name, it's the one where it's a dystopian future about 100 years from now of America and someone's visiting from, it's kind of like almost like Arabian Tales, where he comes from an Arab nation and it's in the future, it's like 100 years or so. Seven American nights, yeah. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and 
there's one point where he meets where the uh, protagonist meets somebody close to the museum, the old Smithsonian, and the guy speaks in, and, mis- and mixes up his B's and his P's and his, mm-hmm. and people had already interpreted part of it, but I, I realized, like he said, people come from all over the world to uh, study here. And I put the B in and it was stubby. <laughs> and then I looked up stubby and sure enough, there's an actual dog named stubby who's in the Smithsonian. And he was a war dog from World War One, who was um, a hero because of he was re- he was a hero using the war for gas, like um, saving people from gas. And I thought that was like I'm positive that that was I mean that just ties right. In. Yeah, that's that's like the recognition of Neil Armstrong in the uh, in the picture gallery, right? Yeah, no, no. So I was like, exactly, it is. It's like that. It's like that. But this also it's even better because I think the gas thing ties into. Um, the mode of the revenge that's going to like mm. the, that, that, how does this, ha- how does the, what's going to happen? That's yeah. That's excellent. I like that. Oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> that's, that's kind of what I have is a bunch of little things like that. Every, a lot of great minds have done the bigger stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, that's, uh, I, I, people will chew on that for, for months. Trust me. Mm-hmm. I was very pleased. I was like, what about the rest of the sentence? And I like, Google stubby and it comes up right away. I was very <laughs> pleased. And it was a misstudy. Mis- yeah. <laughs> All right. Most frustrating mystery in a wolf story. Any novel, any short story. Um, the mysteries that are supposed to be mysteries, but are unsolvable. Oh, you mean things that no one can figure out why? No one seems to be able to figure out. Yeah. Well, the, I was, I mean, that's why I don't like the later books. That's why I don't like a lot of them because like the land across because there's too much of it. There's so much and, of that. Um, right. It's just not, you, mm-hmm. there's not simply not enough clues for the mortal brain to figure out. So um, <laughs> as far as the, like the, gosh, there, there's a lot I've pondered over and over again. I think in the, um, the short sun, what exactly is happening with the, um, that's the one that I, that's what I'm puzzling over the most. Um, exactly what, like, because everyone has different theories about it and I've tried to figure it out mm-hmm. and it's, some of it's satisfactory and others are not. What's, like, what is, what's happening with the silk and whatever his uh, And horn and. Yeah, and horn. And I think Mark has this idea that the, the, the dog, what does he become? The dog or something? Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, Mark and I were just fighting over that last uh, last night. Yeah, oh, really? Last night or night before, I can't remember. I, I, oh, that's so funny. I disagree with him on that. I don't think that is the solution. No, no, I don't. I have, uh, I have, I have my own elaborate. <laughs> well, Diana, this, uh, thanks for for taking uh, this time. Oh, I could talk like for hours on this. <laughs> oh, I, 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 yeah, you got to watch out. I'm just oh, no. like that. <laughs> do you have? Do you? Li- I. Oh, you live in the Chicago area? Uh, Craig does. I'm in Chicago. Yeah, I'm around Chicago. You're in Chicago, and where are you? I'm in Austin. We've never actually met face to face. Oh, cool. I'm in, I'm in the Philly area, just so. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, um, and and the podcast is rereading Wolf. <laughs> so, rereading Wolf. Okay. I I don't even know about. It. I'm so sorry. No. Why should you, really? <laughs> I will then definitely check it out. Well, I'm um for my my day job. I'm a teacher, and uh, I have been virtual for a year now. I have not commuted to work. It's Mm-hmm. It's getting, it's very old, but I'm happy that I'm being paid. So I'm not going to complain at all. But um, I used to listen to, because my commute was 45 minutes to an hour. I would listen to a lot of podcasts. Yeah. You know, we take the chapters of the book of the new sun one by one and, and go through them. And when we first started, we said, okay, we got to edit this down to make sure it doesn't go over an hour. You've had over an hour. <laughs> but now, you know, we have, sometimes we have two hour episodes and no one seems to care. No. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Like if I'm listening to you guys chat. And I'm driving to work. I'm enjoying myself. You know what I mean? Like, it's interesting to me. So you can go for two hours. That's <laughs> wow. That's that's great. I will definitely look that up on the podcast and listen 100. percent Cool. And we'll let you know once we edit this together with with a couple of the other interviews. We'll we'll absolutely let you know please. when it's out and when you can hear yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. yeah, mine's not. I mean, mine. I'm not very interesting, but thank you. <laughs> No, no, this is great. This is very good. No, no, people, 
people are going to love this. Love this. Love oh, really? This. So, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, trust me. I've been, I've, I edit these and ah. so sometimes I feel like, oh, I think I'll listen to that again. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. this is, well, this is right up my alley as right. far as these, these little I know. Interviews. I, I like, I like stop this. And I was like, oh, darn, I should have mentioned this. Oh, I forgot to mention that. But then again, it's not about, I'm not being interviewed for an hour or two. Right, so right. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank, so you. Nice thank you, Diane. It's a pleasure meeting you. Definitely. You're meeting your voices. Yeah. Now I can put a voice to your, <laughs> your posts on the, on the Gene Wolf appreciation page. I have, I thought I have an East Coast accent. Don't I? Yeah, you yeah, you have a you have a Philly accent. Yeah. Well I'm actually from it's actually North Jersey. Oh, there you go. I don't have a Philly accent. <laughs> I don't say certain things. <laughs> they sound the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. Well take care. take care. Thank you. And if you're ever in the area, think of me we get get a beer, talk Sounds about good. wolves. Oh Sounds yeah, good. yeah. Definitely. Looking forward to all of that. <laughs> cool. Though. Thanks, Diana. All right. Thank you. Take, Take care. care. Bye. This was again entirely sponsored by the patrons of the Rereading Wolf podcast. You can go to patreon.com slash rereading wolf to play a part in bringing other amazing things like this into the world. And if you want to take on the five questions with us, reach out to us by email or one of the other methods listed in the show notes of this episode. We need to bring you closer to me, so don't you squirm. Don't